Jai Hind, my dear teachers and my loving children. Do you know children? Our school, Bharti Vidya Bhavans, Bhagwandas Puroi, Vidya Mandir, Ashti Nagpur was established in 2006. And since its inception, the school is constantly marching forward and achieving the highest level of excellence. And we celebrate 17 years of our glorious success. Our first batch of Standard 10 appeared in 2012 and within a span of four years, that is in the year 2016, 209 students appeared in board examination, producing 10% result. School established the historic moment with Diksha Pandey emerging as the first city topper from our school, scoring 99.2%. The school continued to be the leader from 2016 till date. The legacy has been maintained by the determination and hard work of students and experienced and dedicated staff. From 2018, CCE pattern was replaced by conduction of board examination on full syllabus. But our school did not stop producing city toppers. In 2018, it was Yashkale emerging as city topper with 98.8%. In 2019, it was the turn of Arya Nirave to emerge as city topper with 98.8%. Saksham Chala in 2020 also was the city topper with 99.2%. In 2021, Satakshi Kuratkal was the city topper with 99.6%. In 2022, we had twin city toppers, Ms. Dakshita Vadivasme and Manashri Ashtikar scoring 99.2%. 2023, Master Devansh Doka emerged as the regional topper scoring 497 out of 500 and an and a impressive percentage of 99.4. You know children, Pune region comprises of Maharashtra, Goa, Damandir and Dadra and Nagar Haveli. That means our child has topped among the entire Pune region. We are very proud of you Devansh, my son. Despite all adversities caused by COVID-19 pandemic and its aftermath, the students of BVM Ashti Batch 2023 proved their mettle nevertheless without kneeling down before the adverse circumstances. The students exhibited a great exemplary performance with 75 students scoring 90% and above, 43 students scoring 80% and above, 49 students scoring 70% and above, and 22 students scoring 60% and above. On behalf of the entire Bhavans fraternity, I wish all the students a brilliant future. All the sacrifices and sleepless nights have finally paid off. I am thankful to all the parents for showing their faith in BVM Ashti. We will always cherish partnership and collaboration for 13 long years in all our endeavors. Hope the board results of 2023 will definitely inspire and motivate our students, those who will be appearing for board examination in 2024 and batches to come in future. Now, let's watch the talk show with our dedicated and experienced devoted class teachers of Standard 10 22 batch with Mrs. Hiva Kazi. Keep believing in yourself and work hard. I hope this is the first beginning of a progressive journey ahead. I'm extremely proud of Standard 10 Batch 2023 for their exemplary performance and outstanding achievement. God bless you. Thank you. Over to Mrs. Hibakazi. Thank you. Thank you so much, dear ma'am, for your enlightening views. And I'm sure this is going to prove a benchmark for all the schools in and around Dashti. This was our school principal, Shrikati Dandana Desen, enlightening the students as well as the teachers about her views on the CBSC results that have recently been declared. As the CBSC class results flood the school premises across the nation, we have with us today the class teachers for Standard 10, Session 2022 23, 
And first of all, I would like to congratulate all of you for yet another outstanding results in CBSE AISSP 2023. And many, many congratulations. Uh, moving on to our first class teacher, that is Mrs. Suji Ralhan, for class teacher of Standard 10A and an English teacher par excellence. I would like to know, ma'am, how do you feel at this moment, and especially being the class teacher for Admiral Chatterjee? It will be immense pleasure to tell you all about the result of Master Arnab Chatterjee, a student of class 10A who joined Bhavan Zashti when he was in nursery. This child suffers from muscular dystrophy since birth, but his hard work and determination has made him emerge as a winner and he scored a stupendous 88% and he cleared his 10th board examination. We at the Bhavan Zashti have an infrastructure to cater to these children with special abilities because we practice inclusive education. It was a blessing for me to have Arnab in my class. He once told me, Ma'am, aapko pata hai ki mat karne walo ki kabhi haar nahi hoti. And this was a lesson I learned from him. This was a lesson that was imparted as moral education to all the students of my class. Their determination, their hard work, and the support. How he was, Arna was accepted in the class by his classmates. They were a constant support to Arna. They took turns to help Arna complete his written tasks. They used to send him pictures, and Arna at home he used to complete at his own pace. I'm very, very lucky to have children of these, this kind in my class and I was indeed a lucky class teacher to have been with this kid, these kids who taught me lessons for a lifetime. Thank you. Thank you so much Mrs. Radhan and I'm sure we all have taken lessons from the school's policy of inclusive education that gives equal opportunity to every student that crosses the school's threshold. And moving on to our next class teacher, Mr. Lakshman Das. Uh, who was the class teacher of class 10th B, as well as head of the department for the Hindi subject and an excellent teacher who has guided students towards great results. Good morning, sir. Good morning. I would like to uh, first of all congratulate you on your class results and please tell us how it feels to have been part of the consistently excellent results that have been produced over the years. Thank you, ma'am. First of all, uh, I would like to congratulate all my dear children who Past class 10 board with flying colors, and I'm a proud class teacher of 10 B. I'd like to emphasize a few things of this result. I see that 41 students of class 10 they stuck between 80 to 90 percent. They have caliber to score more than 90, but they cannot. What is the reason behind that? We need to think of in future or forthcoming board exams that boards or NEP introduce few new type of questions like competency based question, then case based question, assertion reasoning question, higher order thinking skills question. Children need to thoroughly revise or thoroughly go through these type of questions during their practice. And then it to read the chapters, especially all subjects. I am talking about all subject chapters. Not only they have to read, so that comprehension part should be done properly. Then only they can tackle with this type of questions in forthcoming board board exam. Once again, I am congratulating all the students who pass out this year with flying colors. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much, sir. I am sure your task was blessed. Have you as a class teacher and have to under your wings. Thank you so much. Moving on to the next class, we have Mrs. Rashmi Kumar with us, class teacher of class 10C, who has proved to be a guiding light for her students and have helped them to overcome their math phobia because she's a mathematics expert as well as head of the department for mathematics. So, Mrs. Kumar, how has, has it been to have students under you, especially students who have who must have taken maths as proven to be a difficult subject and a supposedly supposed hurdle to be crossed over the Thank you Mrs. Kazi. Good morning all. 
First of all, I would like to thank all my students of 10th C for giving me such a wonderful and exceptionally excellent result. I am overwhelmed and delighted to tell you all that my all the 37 students have scored very well marks, very good result. I am proud of you all. Then coming to the next topic, if I see, let's start with the word or the phrase which Mrs. Kazi used for mathematics subject as a hard subject or as a phobia or a you know subject which students don't like. Numbers always have been a phobia for students. Yes, mathematics, but being a maths teacher, I can't say that. Because my job, my task is to make them friendly with maths. You know, when I entered uh, in my 10th C as a class teacher, so being a maths teacher earlier they took me as a strict teacher or a rigid person and maybe few of them were not ready to uh, be familiar with me. So that was my first task to make myself familiar to them so that they should be approachable to me, they should come to me. So daily I used to give them small small pep talks and I used to uh, give them Small of my experiences used to share with them, previous experiences, previous students talks, like that I tried to come to near them and then yes, because more though we can't spend our time on these topics now. Then finally when I came on academic, so my hard task was to make mathematics simpler and easier for them and for that approach was you know from 6th, 7th, 8th standard, they are familiar with 2 markers, 3 markers, 4 markers. But as CBSC introduced competency-based questions, in which case-based questions and assumption-based questions and MCQs were a big challenge for them. So here we need to work and obviously all the maths teachers must have worked for it. But you know, my strategies were different because my goal was to uh, make them aware of the things the case based questions are not a new thing assertion reason is a not is not a new thing mcq is already they all are doing with one markers or objective based questions the change is only the way the we are now asking the questions or the board cbsc has given us platform is now case based questions have been framed in story based questions otherwise already they were doing dirty problems already they were doing objective questions so that was not an issue but the main thing was to tell them he already you are doing this but now you have to do it you have to take it in an other way now you have to change your approach so here i worked i gave them familiar with these type of questions chapter wise then worksheet wise then student wise as per their level i started doing questions especially assertion reason case based and mcq and it was my rule in the class if chapter is over definitely two three days we will focus on these type of questions only in revision tests in periodics we introduce these questions and uh, on our smart modules we discuss these type of questions and make them familiar because of which my class students and obviously our work night scored very good marks and mathematics result is very good overall result is very good we all are proud class teachers so would like to continue the same in future with more strategies and ideas with the help of my colleagues. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for sharing your views, especially ma'am. And I'm sure the next generation of students that are going to come up for 9th and 10th standards specifically are not going to face mathematics phobia or at least the amount of phobia that they are facing today would be reduced. Moving on to our next class teacher, we have Mrs. Madhurita Kumar with us, who is the class teacher of class 10th B, head of the department for social science and a very competent and geography teacher. Uh, Madhurita, ma'am, can you please enlighten us regarding the challenges that were faced by the school in general because we were coming after gap two years to visit the school and the teachers as well as the students trying to adapt back to the physical school. How difficult was it? Yes. Uh, thank you, Hiba ma'am. Yes, it, indeed it was very difficult for these children to cope up with the learning gaps. But first of all, I must start congratulating my 42 lot of children. I am very, very proud of you all children for such a stupendous, fabulous result you have put in the books. A huge round of applause for you all children. And uh, you, you know, my children tell me whether it is academics and non-academics, they have excelled in both. And here I should special, uh, take the special mention of uh, Master Devan Koba, who have been the school topper, not only the school 
doctor can be the regional doctor also and indeed it is a proud moment to tell you that the first 10 rank from the school are from Tendi only yes. and we are really proud of you my children as far as the centers are concerned Sanskrit we have got the maximum number of centers from Tendi uh, Sanskrit is 70, Maths 2 centers we have got and SST I have got uh, 1 center and for the next year my strategy is to my increase the center because I am also the SST teacher, geography teacher teaching my class now uh, you know these uh, children have been uh, stuck by COVID pandemic uh, when they were in standard so they did not get the uh, you know second standard they did not get their uh, final exams in 8 and 9 they came back in 10th standard in the last part that means in the last 2 or 3 months I get, get to know acquainted with these children and the whole 10th standard I have been with them and the time I have spent with them and with all the learning gaps it has been a fabulous and fabulous experience with your children I may be a little bit strict I have been schooling you a lot throughout the year I know my you know my voice has always been echoing in the class day <laughs> always been echoing in my class but still I love you all at the end of the day I must tell you I love you all and it has been a great thing great uh, children you have been great children and um, another thing uh, as we you have I have been your SST teacher also geography teacher geography and economics I have been teaching and SST is also another weak point for all the children because most of the children do not go for their uh, you know tuition classes what I think I know the scenario must have changed in the next few years so my strategies which I have adopted was a point was learning point wise teaching making mind maps making point wise teaching and you know making the flow chart so that it becomes easier for the children to adapt it and more and more children you know they were telling them please make this chapter also like this make that this chapter also like this so it, I think it became very easier for the children to do it so I continue and you know in the last I want to tell you one thing uh, in my class we have uh, I had only two children who are below 16 so my next strategy will be of focusing on them and taking them in the higher grades in B2 so this will be our next strategy thank you dear children I am again proud of you all children thank you Thank you so much, Nabhita ma'am, and I'm sure Ten D must be delighted to hear this from you. And uh, no matter how strict we all are, the children will cherish these memories for years to come. We move on to the last section, Ten E, last but not the least, and we have the class teacher, Mrs. Tabassum Ali, with us, and she has an expertise in biology and chemistry and has proved her mettle over the years and produced excellent results. Welcome ma'am and please share your views, your line of action that was adopted by you to prove uh, the result of already proved that uh, the line of action was actually flawless. Thank you Reena ma'am. I really feel blessed to be a part of this successful moment of our school and I am proud and enthralled to be the class teacher of Tendi. The champions of Tendi, they have proved and lived up to the expectations by giving an outstanding result. Well, I believe and I guess everyone can agree in this that a war is half won if it is with an effective plan. So I formulated a strategy which I named as PBB strategy that is plan, balance and believe. So I made my students realize that it is very essential that they should have a study, study plan which should be implemented on a daily basis. Secondly, to balance that is they should identify the subjects which they find difficult and the weaker areas of the, those subjects so that they can pay more attention on that and accordingly they can formulate their study plan and I feel that the essence of success not only lies in equipping the child with the content but also to inculcate the optimistic attitude in the students Definitely. right from the average, below average to the mediocre as well as the toppers so that is the third point of the strategy. I made them realize to believe in themselves. As a class teacher, right in the beginning, I have given them a target of 3 to 4 percent increase in every periodic test. And they have worked for it. And the best part is when I gave this target to each and every child of my class, even the average child got recognition in the class. So 
that gave them a motivation and have boosted up their zeal. And my champions, they have made it by showing an increasable percentage. So I feel that as a teacher, a teacher should be should have patience and should be approachable. My teaching of Chem Bio was always, uh, you know, along with experiential learning, blended learning, and lots of strategies which are going to help my children to make the concept clear. But along with this, what was supplemented timely was timely reinforcement, counseling, and motivation, which has given miraculous result. So once again, I congratulate all my champions of Chem Bio, and good luck for the best future. Thank you so much, Dr. Sunan. And Ken E must be listening to this with absolutely joyous hearts. And uh, we come to the end of our segment. So here's wishing the future 10 standard, that is the batch which is going to appear for AISS E 2024, all the very best. And let's hope all of us are able to implement all our strategies that we have spoken about today. And we also wish the Recently passed 10 standard. All the very best for their future endeavors. Thank you so much. Thank you.